What's up everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today we have the Earl Sweatshirt Madness Bracket requested by you guys uh, on the Twitter. As you can tell, the chat is kind of freaking out right now. Uh, but yeah, currently when I'm filming this, it is New Year's Eve. So by the time you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably 2022. So happy New Year's. Here's the bracket we have. Uh, you can pause the video now, take a look at it. Uh, we got songs from every single one of his albums, except for like Kitchen Cutlery and stuff. Uh, but yeah, New Earl is dropping in January. So uh, we're going to be reacting to that the second it drops on stream. So that should be pretty hype. But we do have some of the singles that were released uh, before the album dropped. Starting it off, we got Hive versus Loop. Now, I know a lot of people like to say that Looper is the best on Earl's self-titled album. I really can't get behind that, to be honest. Uh, I think one song is easily the best on that mixtape, uh, which I will get to later in the bracket. I think Hive is probably Earl's more, most accessible song, and I think it's better than Looper, so it is winning this. Next, we got The Mint versus Pre. I think Pre is an amazing intro to, uh, to Doris. I don't know, though. The Mint has some amazing production. Might be some of the best production on some rap songs, but I feel like you guys are going to be catching me say this is the best production on some rap songs a lot just because I feel like that's one of the best produced albums ever. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Mint on this one. Pre is still a great song though. AM Radio versus The Benz. This is so, this is such a weird comparison. I don't even know what I consider better here. I'd probably go with like, I don't know. I feel like The Benz fits in with like the some rap songs concept better, but like as an individual song, I don't know. I feel like I might go with AM Radio here, which I know might be a little controversial. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I Don't Like Show on Gold Side is overall a very underrated album and overshadowed by some rap songs. I know some rap songs is a better album, but I still think this is a great album. It has some amazing songs uh, and perfectly like conveys the emotions that he was going through at the time of release here. Next, we got East versus Stapleton. Now, when I talked about Looper, I was saying that there is one song that I think is easily Earl Sweatshirt's best song. Uh, or not the not real switch the best song, but there's best song on the album, and I think it's easily Stapleton. Uh, very simple production, but it fits so well with his rapping. Uh, if you haven't listened to the song, definitely go listen. Uh, and then we have East. Now, uh, I don't think East is as bad as some people say it is, but like I, I think the whole point of this song is just to prove that like Earl can rap over any beat, no matter how like silly it is. I don't know why I said silly. I don't even know how to describe this beat. It's literally just an accordion with like flutes. Uh, but yeah, East is probably his worst song. Not as bad as some people say it is though. But if you look at the chat above me, they all love East. <laughs> East is out first round for me though. That's just my personal opinion here. Um, but yeah, let's go down to the bottom half. Bottom half here. We got starting it off. We got Azucar versus Molasses. I'm probably gonna get grilled for how I'm pronouncing that. I still don't know how to pronounce this. Um, but yeah, I think Azucar is probably better than Molasses. I think it has, again, amazing production, uh, very deep lyrics, sort of ties the album together. Yeah, I think this is, this is a great, uh, a great song. Shattered Dreams versus Burgundy. This is another, this is a bit, little bit closer than that last one. I think Burgundy is a little bit closer to Shattered Dreams. Um, and you know what? I think I'm going to go with Burgundy here because Burgundy perfectly encapsulates everything that Doris is about. Either Burgundy or Chum. Those two songs, I think, perfectly, like, describe what Earl was going through at the time and sort of set the theme for Doris. Love the lyricism on this track, too. Talking about, like, everyone uh, saying, why are you depressed? We just want to hear them raps. Like, just, he's, he's just, it's a very good song for just, like, explaining his mindset at the time. I know I'm probably rambling here, but yeah. Absolutely great song. Shatter Dreams, still an amazing intro to one of the best albums ever created, though. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Burgundy here. Uh, El Toro Combo Meal Wipes. Yeah, for this next for this next one, El, Otol, eh, El Toro Combo Meal is gonna be Epar. This has an amazing Mavi feature. I know I think Mavi is a little bit overrated. I mean, I still think he's very good. But yeah, his his verse on this song is crazy. Uh, Epar, on the other hand, I think this, like the lyricism, the subject matter he's talking about here, very just cringe. And I think even Earl now would agree with that. Uh, he was just sort of like in his edgy teenage phase here. Uh, so yeah, El Toro Combo Meal kind of wipes. Uh, but yeah, the next song was we have are Fawcett and Riot. I think Fawcett is a great song, but I think Riot is one of the best outros to any album ever. And like, if you don't get some rap songs, which I know a lot of people don't, which is fine, you probably won't understand why I'm putting an instrumental over a whole like song with lyrics here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Riot. Next, moving into the top right quadrant, we have Woe versus Nowhere to Go. This is very hard, actually. I'm probably gonna go with Nowhere to Go here, though. Honestly, I think this might be one of the more normal beats on some rap songs. Definitely not, like, super normal or anything, but I think, like, this might be the most accessible song on the album. What do you guys think about that? Like, other than Riot. 
yeah, I, I still I think this is a great song. Sunday vs. Cold Summers. This is really hard because I feel like Cold Summers is better than Nowhere to Go. And it's really close. I feel like either of these songs will be Nowhere to Go, to be honest. Sunday, we have Frank Ocean saying Fortnite, though. So I think that's going to just make him make this song win, to be honest. Obviously, I'm joking, but I think Sunday is still better. That is so close, though. This is really, like... This is really making me think here. Because I'm trying to see what I value more. But yeah. Uh, oh, I'm getting ratioed in the chat. I'm sorry. Cold Summers is still great. But December 24th is most accessible. Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, Nowhere to Go is not the most accessible. Okay. 4N versus Chum. 4N's actually a decent song. Uh, I think Vita Clay is an overhated album. This actually has a great Mokami feature. Um, but again, when I, when I was talking about Burgundy before, I was saying that Burgundy and Chum are amazing songs. Yeah, Chum. Watch the music video. Listen to the lyricism. Chum, such a basic, straightforward beat. But the lyricism is just so good. It's so good. And it's like... God. This is the song that made me appreciate Earl the most. And I really... Like, this is a song that made me get into him, and I still love it to this day. It's gonna win over for it. And then we got Mantra versus 2010. 2010 is a great song, and it makes me very hyped for his new album, but I think I'm gonna go with Mantra here. This is somehow, like, both depressing and hype at the same time, which is something that, like, only Earl could do. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Mantra there. Might be kind of unpopular. I know a lot of people really like 2010, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Mantra. Okay, next we got Red Water versus Wool. The chat is saying Wool, and I 100% agree. Although I don't think Wool really fits the vibe of the rest of the album, I think it's so good, and I don't even- I think it doesn't even need to fit the rest of the album, because it's like the outro track, and it's sort of just like a- I don't know, it's sort of just like the ending track, sort of just Earl talking his shit, and uh, I think this is the best song on the album, to be honest. Amazing feature from Vince Staples, and this has some of Earl's, like, hardest bars. I, I think if you listen to the lyrics here, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Wool there. We got Guild versus Huey. I think Huey's gonna win this as well. Um, I don't like Sean go outside, just cleaning house right now. Yeah, Huey, the beat sounds like... Oh, I saw this one TikTok that described it so well. It was like, the beat on Huey sounds like... And it was like this gif of like this sad clown walking in the rain. And that image that the production portrays so... Uh, it fits the, Earl's lyrics so well on this song. I'm sorry if I'm not making sense here, but yeah. I think the imagery this song creates is amazing. Uh, and I think this might be like the second best song on the album. Or, or Mantra might be better. Top three for sure though. Uh, Will is the best? Yeah, I agree. Uh, next we got Knight versus On The Way. Knight is actually playing right now. Amazing song. Yeah, I think Knight's gonna win this. One of the most underrated Earl songs in terms of production. I think the beat on this is so amazing. Uh, honestly, might be the best produced song on Doris. I think Chum is better because of its its lyricism, but I think Knight has the best beat. So good, so good. Uh, and next we got Earl versus Peanut. Uh, Peanut's gonna win this so easily. Peanut is like I'm pretty sure it was recorded right after Earl's father died. Um, so it's just like it's so depressing. Even the beat sounds depressed. Um, and then it transitions right into Riot, which is just like the the bittersweet ending of the album. I think yeah, I think Peanut is. Uh, much better than the song Earl. Next, we got Hive versus The Mint. I'm gonna go with The Mint here, but I could, to, to be honest, I could see this going either way. I'm gonna go with The Mint here. I love the beat on that. I don't even know what that instrument would even be called. Uh, it, it's, yeah. At first, when I first listened to the song, I was like, this sounds so offbeat. But then as I listen to it more, it just, it sounds, it just gets more and more perfect with every listen. And that's not even, that's not only this song. That's all of some rap songs. It, it just gets better with every listen. Uh, Stapleton versus AM Radio. Hot take, very hot take. Flaming take incoming. Stapleton is better. And I don't think a single person in the chat is going to agree with me. I mean, I can understand why. I mean, I I haven't seen a single other person that praises this song as much as I do. Um, so if you're going to disagree, that's completely fine. But yeah, I think Stapleton's better and the best song on the Earl mixtape. Uh, moving on, we got Azakar versus Burgundy. I think Azakar is going to take that. Uh, both amazing songs though, and then Riot is gonna win over El Toro Combo Meal. Ah, is it? No, it's really not. It's really not gonna win over Riot. Ah, they're so different. Like, this is like just a Mavi feature over a, an amazing beat, and he's just spitting bars the whole time. This is just like an emotional outro to an album. So like, a lot of Riot's credit also just goes to the theme that some rap songs build over time. So as a song, I think I'm gonna go with El Toro Combo Meal over it. Next we got Nowhere to Go versus Sunday. 
Uh, as I said before, I think Cold Summers and Sunday were both going to be any of the songs here. So I think Sunday's going to win this. Uh, and Chum versus Mantra. I'm going to go with Chum here, but it pains me to put Mantra out because that is such a... This is such a masterfully crafted song. Like, I don't know how Earl was able to make this song sound so depressing, yet so, like, not upbeat, but just, like, getting you, like, pumped up at the same time. You know what I mean? I don't know. I love this album. It's so good. Um, Wool versus Huey. I'm gonna go with Wool here for all the men for all the reasons I mentioned before. And Knight versus Peanut. Oh, this is hard. This is hard because I love both of these songs for completely different reasons. Completely different reasons. Um, Peanut, Peanut. Most of the chat saying Peanut. I think I'm gonna have to agree with that. Although Knight is an amazing song. Next we have The Mint versus Stapleton. Oh shit, I don't know man. I I'm gonna come back to this one and I know everyone in the chat is gonna be like, what? The Mint so clearly wipes Stapleton. No, I think it's close. So I'm gonna come back to that. Azkar is gonna be El Toro Combo Meal. Um, Sunday and Chum, a Chum is gonna win that. Um, but Wool and Peanut, I don't know about that either. So I gotta decide, Wool or Peanut and the Mint or Stapleton. I could see it going either way. If I was watching someone else do this bracket and they picked one over the other, I would not care. Like, I don't, I don't have a preference, to be honest, between these songs. They're all just so good in their own ways. It depends on the mood. Overall, though, I think... Oh, man. I'm gonna take Wool over Peanut. I know on my top 10 Earl songs, I put Peanut um, over Wool. I'm gonna change my mind now. Uh, and then I'm gonna put the Mint over Stapleton. Although Stapleton is underrated, it's not being the Mint. I'm sorry, it's not being the Mint. And this is our top four. Let me zoom in, zoom in here. The Mint versus Chum... Gonna go with Chum there. Azakar versus Wool. Ah, I'm gonna go with Azakar. That pains me to get rid of Wool, though. And look at that. Just from my top 10 Earl songs, we have the top two facing against each other. Now, what do I think is better? Both of these have some of the best lyricism out of any Earl song. I think the production on Azakar is better than the production on Chum. Um, but I think the simple production fits the lyricism of Chum so well. So I don't even know. But I have to make a decision here. Uh, to be honest, I could see it going either way, but in the end, in the end, I'm gonna have to go with Chum as the best Earl Sweatshirt song. The song above me is officially my favorite Earl Sweatshirt song, and that's just what's gonna win the bracket. Honestly, when I started this bracket, I didn't know if it was gonna win. I know it'd get pretty far, but I didn't know if it'd win. I know uh, some fans are gonna call me basic and stuff, but trust me, I listen to a lot of Earl, I still think Chum is his best song. Thank you guys all for watching, I should have another upload up next week. I appreciate all the support, you guys have been showing some crazy support lately, so I really do appreciate it. Um, if you're an Earl fan, and you want to listen to the new album with me, we're gonna be listening to that live, uh, together, the day it drops. So, come over to the Twitch if you don't usually come, it's a lot of fun, chat let them know. Uh, but yeah, anyways, appreciate all of you, I'll see you next week, and peace out.